Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the production budget. We're going to go through what it is, why you need to do a production budget, how to do it, and then some other things to think about when you're going through the process. Most companies go through an annual operating plan process, or they'll call it the annual budget. And we have a separate video that gives you an overview. And we also have, if you check the links, we have a course which will actually walk you through the full budgeting process that you can check out on corporatefinanceacademy.com. So the annual budget has a number of pieces. And generally, you're starting out with a sales budget because you need to know what you're going to sell. And then from there, you have your production and purchasing budget. So you have much to make or buy. You have all these other pieces of the budgeting process, which are very important, and you end with your financial statements. But today, the focus, as we mentioned, is on the production budget. So the production budget, it tells us how much we can and really should produce, or if this is a purchasing budget, uh, how much you should buy, and what does it take to produce it. So one note here is production is really confined to manufacturing businesses. Purchasing is a little simpler to do the budgeting, not to say that it's easier to go buy all that, all that product, but we're going to focus on production here. And why do you need to do it? Well, you need to understand and make sure that you're equipping your, your company to be able to satisfy the demand and sales that you could actually have as a company. And you're going to think about things like, does the capacity actually exist? So let's say you're forecasting your sales to double. You might not have the machines and equipment and space to be able to make twice as much product. Uh, same goes for manpower. Do you have the manpower? So you need to be able to plan out how many raw materials, consumables to buy. You need to make sure that you have adequate things to be able to run your business. You have the people, you have the machines, you have the space. So the first thing you do, you need is you need to actually have your sales budget because if you don't know how much you're going to sell, then you don't know how much you have to make. You also need to have your beginning inventory. So yes, let's just say you're going to sell 100 cars and you have 75 in inventory and you don't want to have 75 in inventory. That doesn't mean you need to make 100 cars because you can sell some out of your inventory. And it's really just boils down to two simple steps. The first is you need to figure out how much total product is needed. So you need to know what your sales forecast is and you need to know how much inventory you want to have. Now the second piece is how much production is needed. So that's going to be how much total product is needed from the, to from the prior step and you're gonna subtract out the actual inventory you already have on hand. So with that, let's jump to the Excel so we can show you a simple version of how you would do this. All right, so like I said, you need your sales budget already and setting a sales budget is a much different process in production. So we're not gonna go through this in this video, but just know you've got a sales forecast and this is what your sales team working with your FP&A team has said, this is what we're gonna sell over the course of the year. So the next thing you need to know is how much inventory you have on hand. So let's just say we, we run a report and we figure out we've got 55 units on hand. So what we're missing in this line is how much inventory is needed. So let's just say, for example, let's keep this really simple. And let's say we wanna have enough inventory for the next month's sales. So we're going to actually set this equal to the next month, and then we'll run this forward. Now, obviously, when you run it all the way out to the right, December, you don't know what next January is. So we're just going to plug 100 in there for next January. So now, based on those formulas that we talked about, you've got your sales forecast. You've got your inventory that you need, which is 125 units. So you need 225 units. Now, your inventory on hand is 55. So when you take that 225 less the 170, or less the 55, you have 170 units of production that you need to make. So you would take this production budget of 170 and you'd feed that to your operating team, and they're gonna then use that to say, 
how much raw material do we need? How many man hours does it take to make 170 units? Do we have the machines needed? Are there things we need to outsource? So they're going to use that to, to plan out their year for each of these months as they go. So at the high level, the production budget, the production needed calculation is very simple. But there can be a lot of work to get to a good sales forecast to really figure out how much inventory you need, especially if you have a business with seasonality. So, and then taking your production needed budget and actually translating that into how do you actually go do the work, have the people, have the materials to build it. That's super complicated. But this gives the, you the idea of how you actually get to the number that you're gonna need. Okay, so you've seen the simple math. Now, some things to think about when you go through the production budget. You always have to ask yourself first, does this actually make sense? If you see numbers that don't look right, or it seems like way out of the ordinary of what you could actually produce, you should stop and try to figure out what's going on. You have to work very closely with the operations team. They need to know what we're predicting that they need to make. They need to, go what, need to know what goes into those assumptions. And ultimately, at the end of the day, they're the ones who have to make this. So they need to be very involved and be planning as far ahead as possible. You have to think through seasonality. You know, if you're a business, some of our examples we talk about an ice cream business. If you're an ice cream business, you probably sell a lot more ice cream in the summertime. You have to think of those things because when you have seasonality, that means you're going to need more employer employees at certain time of the year. That means you're going to have to carry more or less inventory at times of the year. So you want to think about that. Do you actually have the capacity to make everything? And we've mentioned this a few times, but this is but when you're doing your budgeting process, this is the time where you can actually think ahead and say, do we need to expand capacity or do we need to have a plan to hire people when we get to the summertime or whatever that is. But think far ahead when you're doing your budgeting process. You should look into make versus buy as well. What this means is instead of actually producing everything, maybe you outsource some of it. Maybe it's more cost effective than hiring more people and expanding capacity just for one piece of high seasonal business. So look into make versus buy. It's a, it's a good time of year to do it when you're doing a budgeting process. And then you want to go a level deeper. Think about how you scale the company. Are you going to continue to grow the company? What would make you more productive or more efficient? You might have a big business where you have multiple shops and some are better at certain things than the others. You know, maybe you have a model where each plant works on a specialty instead of each plant making all your products. There's a number of things you can think about when you're looking at your production budget. It shouldn't be just churning out a number. It should be strategic and you should be thinking about how do you make the business better? How do you make the business more prepared? And how are you just more successful as a company? So that's it. That's the production budget. It's an important piece of the annual operating plan and everybody should spend time on it. And you should understand how you can make it strategic versus just reporting a number. So please subscribe. Please like the video. Leave comments or questions if you have them. And we'll be back with more content soon.